I'm Coral, I'm 48, I have two jobs, and I'm a mother. Found two today. All right. Great. I definitely would say I'm a hoarder. I haven't been in two-thirds of the house in over five years. I haven't been in the kitchen in years. I haven't been in my dining room in almost two years. I walk in the door, go straight to the bedroom, and I sit down on the bed, and that's it. That's home. I'm Vernon, and I'm Coral's fiance. Vernon was my fiance when I was 17, and we broke up. And then we never saw each other again until 31 years when I found her on Facebook. He's charming, he's sweet, he's considerate. He's everything a woman wants. I've never stopped loving her. Even during the 31 years, I, she was always on my mind. Vernon left everything he had to come start a new life again with me. She had told me a little bit about the problem uh, that she was having, getting the house clean before I got there. I know. That's killing me. Yeah, I can imagine. My God. Well, I figured that she'd have to go in and vacuum and wipe the counters down, you know, clean it up. And then when I walked inside the door, it's like, oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. This is impossible. You know, this is a disaster. There's no way I'll lay my head down and fall asleep in this house. This place is a death trap. And I said, you haven't been staying here like this, have you? And she goes, yeah, I don't have anywhere else to stay. I said, well, you're not staying here anymore. And that's when I pulled her out of it. I can't live like that. I've never lived like that. I've already told Coral, I said, look, I don't want to leave you, I love you, but look at the situation. We got to figure something out or else I'm not living in this trailer. I don't want to lose Vernon again. And it's very clear he will not live here the way it is. Well, good morning, team. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Dorothy Brenninger. I'm a professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. You, sir, Michael, anything you want to say? If you've got something to say to your mom, by golly, at some point, you should try to say it. I'm a little disappointed that it's taken this long. I lived most of my life in there, and it took Vernon coming along for you to make this step. It kind of hurts that you didn't want to do this until now. It's almost like I wasn't worth it. When I look at Michael who says, gee, mom, I've been asking you all my life to get rid of this stuff, and you didn't. And yet here comes in a boyfriend for three months, and he says, do it or else, and you do. I feel for him. That's really an honest statement. Be open today, because as we throw things out, it makes room for a lot of love to come in. There are feelings all the way around, and they have to get to the core. That's what's underneath this hoard. It's my understanding from Coral the other day that she's ready to let go of how much percent-wise? At least 75%. I'm concerned about that. I want you to not just let it go, but make some difficult decisions so you won't have a hoard again. Right. You know, I was thinking all we got to do is get the boxes out, vacuum the carpet, yeah. buy a new bed, and come on in. What, what's this? Have you ever experienced hoarding? a hoarding situation before? No. <laughs> I've never walked time. in a house like this, never. It's a pile of garbage, you know, even the trailer itself, you know. Yeah. It's, it's... I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, once you've got trash up here, it never, ever, ever, 
ever goes away. It's always fair. I'm feeling really good and I'm feeling very optimistic. The house looks incredible already. Coral is under the impression that this place is totally salvageable and there won't be any problem getting it all fixed up. I do see a lot of problems though that are gonna have to be addressed. There's just so much stuff in there. The owner, Coral, would like to move back into the house, but everybody around seems to think that this is not a place she can live in. Okay. So I'm looking to you to give us the real answer. Okay. Don't sugarcoat it, because we need to know the reality of it, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I have no idea what's gonna happen if they say it's condemnable. I just have not allowed my brain to even consider that possibility yet. Here we go. Oh, wow. My first impression of the house was it was in rough shape. The ceilings are falling down. The walls have water and mold in them. The water heater was leaking, so the water has rotted the floor out and uh, really nasty. The house could be salvageable, but probably the cost would be more than it's worth. A rough estimate we did was to tear all the drywall out, all the insulation out, repair all the bad wood on the outside, new cabinets, AC, and plumbing were somewhere around $50,000. Wow. Yes. It's not salvageable. Mm -hmm. Not at that price. Tell me what this means to you. I can't fathom it yet. I went to college. I gave up 26 months of his life so I could get a degree. <laughs> Everybody has let me down. Hold on a second, you lost Dallas. Yeah, Dallas is leaving. So I had to get out of there because, you know, she keeps saying everybody let me down, but what about all these years that she let Michael down? He can be pissed off at me if he wants. I don't care. Obviously, he's done a lot for your son. He cares for you a lot, Mom. What are you talking about? He was going to take you in. He offered you a bedroom, and you're like, no, I want to sleep in a bed. He loves the out of you. Seeing my brother snap on my mom was not something I was expecting. Do you not understand and appreciate that? Mom, you make me so mad sometimes. You know I care for you, and he cares for you, and everyone here cares for you, and we're here for you. I can't blame him for going off. He he grew up in this, I didn't. I hear I don't know what to say to you. You don't hear anything, man. Bro, look at this. Look you don't hear. What is your problem? What is wrong? What the f do you think is wrong? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> gotta get you help, Mom. I gotta get you help. It took a lot of courage for Coral to do this. A lot of courage. And I think this is gonna be some closure for Michael. And he really needs it. I'm hoping that we can come together and find a way to make this work for my mother and she can live happily. I'm not going to leave Coral. I'm very proud of her. I think she did a wonderful job of finally knuckling down and getting rid of this jump. I may say that I'm not going to stick by my mom if she decides to stay here in this, this hell hole, but ultimately I'm always going to be here. She's my mother and I'm her son and that bond is eternal. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.